Hi, my name is Andrew Dickinson. I've been at the Deutsche Oper since 2016. I've sang around 40 different roles in about 180 performances. And I am a Spiel tenor, which is, uh, in my opinion, the glue of uh, many productions. So since starting at Deutsche Oper, I've been given um, a lot of roles that require a lot of um, very deep and meaningful artistic development into the characters. Coming up I have another challenge which is the Hexa in Hansel and Gretel. With the Hexa in mind, the first challenge obviously is the vocal challenge, finding a colour that resonates with which, and I've spent many weeks trying to find the very specific quality of this type of voice. It's important in opera to develop relationships with other characters on stage. The witch has a brief relationship with both Hansel and Gretel, but it was also very important for me to form a special relationship with my Besengal. And now I really feel as though our relationship is on a different level and me and the broomstick are going to be friends for a very long time. Next is the physical challenge of becoming an older woman. She certainly loves scaring people, so I've been trying to scare as many people as possible during the day. Helping me get into the mental state of the witch is the amazing costume and wigs department here, who have kindly let me um, keep on the makeup of the witch for a number of weeks. I've been living as a regular person in my normal life, um, really embodying the spirit of the witch, also with her wonderful hair and makeup. Hansel and Gretel is a great piece. Um, it has a message for children as well as adults. And learning more about the witch has taught me that, yes, this is a piece that tells children to be careful when they go out and play and to look after each other. But also it says something about old people who live by themselves in forest and don't have enough food to survive. And um, it's something that we should all think about in the 21st century, that we look after our old people, otherwise, they might resort to eating things that really they shouldn't.